Hello. In this video I'm going to show you how to solve a Kakuro puzzle. The main skill you should develop is to know which sums can be solved in only one way. For example 3 and 2 cells can be only 1 and 2. 4 and 2 cells can only be solved as 1 and 3. 2 and 2 is not an option because numbers cannot appear more than once in a single block. For this cell we can either have 1 or 3 because of the 4 horizontally. If we had a 3 though, the 3 vertically cannot be solved. It would require to place a 0 in the second cell, which is not allowed. This means that we should have 1 in that cell. Now this cell must be 3 because the sum should be 4 horizontally. This one must be 2 because the sum should be 3 vertically. This one must be 1 because the sum should be 4 vertically. And this one must be 3 because the sum should be 6 horizontally. Another approach for solving is to enter the possible candidates for each cell. The 7 and 3 cells horizontally can only be solved as 1, 2 and 4. We place the possible candidates in each cell. Now we check if those candidates work with the vertical clues. The 6 vertically can be solved as 1 and 5, as 2 and 4 or as 4 and 2. All the candidates are valid. The 4 vertically can be solved only as 1 and 3. The 2 and the 4 are not valid candidates. We can place 1 in that cell and remove the 1 as a candidate from the rest of the block. Now we can solve the 4 vertically. Then the 5 horizontally. Then the 6 vertically. And then the 7 horizontally. Let me show you a trick. We can find out the sum of these 4 cells using the horizontal clues. It should be 10 because of the 3 and the 7 horizontally. Now we can find the sum of these 5 cells using the vertical clues. It should be 12, which is 2 more than the darker 4 cells. This means that the lighter cell should be 2. This cell can be either 1 or 2 because of the 3 horizontally. We already have 2 in the vertical block so it must be 1. We can now solve the 3 horizontally. Then the first 6 vertically. Then the 7 horizontally. The candidates for this cell are 1, 2 and 3 because of the 6 horizontally. It can't be 2 because we already have 2 in the vertical block. It can't be 3 because the 7 vertically can only have 1, 2 and 4. So it must be 1. We can now solve the 7 vertically. Then the 7 horizontally. Then the 6 vertically. And then the 6 horizontally. We are almost there. We need a 1 and a 2 for the vertical 6. But we cannot have 2 in the 4, so we must have a 1 there. Now we can solve the 4 horizontally. Then the 7 vertically. Then the 6 horizontally. And the puzzle is solved. This was an easy one. Let me show you some more advanced techniques, which will help you solve harder puzzles. Using pencil marks or notes to place all the possible candidates for a cell is very useful. In this example we have placed all the possible candidates for the 17. Let's say that we have used some logic to remove some of the candidates from the second and the fifth cell. And there is one and the same pair of candidates for both cells. If we place 5 in the second cell, there will be 6 in the last one. Or the other way around. This means that we cannot have 5 or 6 anywhere else in that block. So we can rule those out from the candidates for the other cells. 
The same logic would apply if we had a triple of candidates in three of the cells. Or quadruple of candidates in four cells etc. The next technique is called hidden pair. In this case we can place 5 and 6 only in two of the cells. This means that we can rule out all the other candidates for those cells. The next technique is called combo elimination. A combo is a set of numbers which can go into a block. For example there are two combos which can be used to solve the 17 in 5 cells. This is why we have so many candidates for each cell. If we happen to find out that there is a 5 in the second cell, this would eliminate completely the first combo as it doesn't have a 5. We can remove the 4 and the 7 from the candidates. The next technique is called sub-blocks. This technique may save you if you hit a dead end. The sum of these two cells is 11 because we already have a 9 in the vertical 20. The sum of these four is 21 because of the horizontal clues. 12 plus 13 is 25. Minus 4 makes 21. This means that the sum of these two cells is 10. We can remove the 5 as a candidate. Sometimes this is all you need to crack the entire puzzle. You are ready to solve some puzzles using your new skills. In the next video I will show you how to make the most out of the interface of puzzle-kakuro.com. I will show you all the settings, different modes and helpers. How to play on a desktop computer or on a mobile device.